Welcome back to our 2000 series, where currently corn and bean prices are going extremely high due to ethanol. Everything we do in this series is between year 2000 and 2010, so all equipment between those years goes, all songs, anything like that. Hopefully, you guys enjoy watching this farm grow. Okay guys, we have the rest of our beans to plant. We got most of our corn done, a little bit of corn to knock out. There's Nate rolling on up. Nate, we got 160 acres of corn left to plant. We'll plant that and then we should be on to beans, I'm hoping. So we could even switch a player to beans right now if you want, Nate, too. I'm not sure. What? Uh, what we is still that? got 144. What, what, what is that noise? He does know where our farm is. Hi, long time no see, huh? Were you just seeing me call me maybe? Maybe. You were, de you were definitely seeing me call me maybe in there. You have well, no how, room how to How else judge. am I supposed to actually make myself be happy in this world? Our economy's <laughs> getting close to crashing, and I just want to sing my heart away. That's fine. That's fine. You have no room to talk, Mr. Barbie Girl. Okay, to be fair, Barbie Girl's probably worse than Call Me Maybe. I get it. I get it, man. But Call Me Maybe's a good song, though. It is a good song compared to Barbie Girl. Don't you dare mock Barbie Girl. This man has as his ring. I don't want to hear that from you. And it's my text tone. See? Told you I wasn't weird, Nate. I need a new family. I'm going to work. Buck, it's been 20 oh, years, the first man. Time. It's the first time I've heard you actually say you're going to work. What's new? What's what's changed about you? Did you actually grow a pair when I left? You can leave, sir, with that kind of attitude. <laughs> Buck, Good you, you got to be nice Finances to him, Buck. Finances and drama. There, That's why get I in your truck and go. Bye. I'll get in my truck and go. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy, but here I go now. So see ya later. <laughs> All right, I'm going to work. You can deal with that mess. I'm going to I go hit field 20. I got him. I'll take care of him. Got to put a leash on him, but I'll take care of him. Okay, so Buck's going to be working for us part time. And he hasn't seen the farm in like 20 years. So I'm going to give him a little tour. And then, Buck, can you hop in the 8110 and start planting with Nathan? I should be able to. Okay, perfect. Okay, so there's the new house. Of course, Grant spent a lot of money on the new house, as expected. That's a little toy shop. When we get into dirt track racing, Buck, yeah, we're going to have a lot of cars in there. Then we got five different bins, about 200K worth of storage. Yep. Don't have a leg yet. Eventually, once we get some more money, I'd like to get a leg there and a better dryer system. This is cold storage here. It's a 60 by 90 cold storage building. It can't fit the fuel cultivator, which kind of sucks. Should have built it bigger. That's what they always say, but... Isn't that I the one... Oh, no. Uh, no, I'd say that was the one we used to have there, but then you know, that was uh, it was like a butler shed. Yeah, exactly. And then we could fit a higher head of cattle in this monoslope building. This is where we put our steers that are pretty well close to market being fed out in here. And then got the silo, fertilizer buildings, got a bunch of old straw bales here. We'll see if we ever use these. It seems like they've been sitting here for two years. Then we can fill this with 400 head of cattle. We got a lot of calves in here now. Actually got a load coming out of Omaha soon of uh, some new calves being delivered. So that's pretty much okay. the facility. Then we got hay storage, equipment storage, and then we got our big shop over here. I know you're going to like the signs and stuff. All the signs we got over here. And this is our heated shop. Ah, uh, yes. Debt, debt, and more debt. Yeah. And then there's a little bit of cold storage over here where we put most of our equipment. It's not insulated besides That's the little shop. That's the tires I had on my D21. Where's uh, my D21? We got rid of it, Buck. We got rid of it, man. I quit. I guess here's the money question. The only thing that I did leave here was my Mustang. You didn't sell my nope. Mustang, did you? I've got it in the shed still. It's all good. Okay. Did you break it? No. Nope. Did you it's swap still in the good motor? Because I know you had a little bit of a spite with me back when we used to race. It's in good condition still. Okay. If okay. you guys start planting corn, I'm going to take the cultivator up to our largest field. It's like 10 miles north of here. Get working ground ahead of you guys, if that works good. Uh, okay, I have no idea where the ground you have is anymore because it's been 20 years. Nate's just on the other side of the road. There's a 40 there. Help him finish planting. Okay. Okay, so Buck's taking off there with the planter to go help plant with Nate. I just replaced, a, we had a broken shank on this field cultivator. And then we're going to go hit our largest field, which is like a 160 acre field north of here. So I'm going to hop in the 535, fold her up. There we go. She's not full yet, but well, we're going to start heading over there anyways. Now, as you guys can see, we don't have much money, but our goal for this year, commodity prices are good. We got to push yield on these, and we should be able to make a good amount of money to keep expanding our acres next year. That's what we're hoping. But as they always say, high prices cure high prices. So everybody else is doing the same thing. It might mean a collapse, but I feel like we've got a couple good years ahead of us before things go south. Okay, we're to the field. I'm going to start unfolding there, and we got to go. We got to move with this cultivator because those planters are going to be right behind us they probably got like 20 acres left nate buck you on the cb yeah how many acres you guys got left uh, i couldn't necessarily tell you nate would have that information too many good 
There we go. We can really move with this cultivator. We've got 535 horsemen of the hood. Here's one of our neighbors. They are some large operators here. I'm surprised they didn't end up renting this field here. But uh, we are moving through the field. Now, this field needs plowed. And technically, this isn't a plow, but this cultivator actually works as a plow. So it gives us a yield bonus. It leaves the ground pretty darn rough, but our planters plant through it fine. So we're just going to keep rolling like this. And we'll get a pretty good yield bonus by plowing it, even though this is a cultivator. And the 535 is just chugging along at 9 mile an hour. I mean, she's pulling her pretty easily. Some say this would be a little fast for a field cultivator, but I don't know. Seems like it's doing a decent job. Hey, Grant, you on the radio? Yeah, I'm on the radio. I'm heading to 144 right now. Oh, dude, you said you had too many acres left. I'm still doing the headlands. We do, but it's what happens when you have a planter that goes nine miles an hour. Okay. It gets the work done ASAP. Okay, we need we need another field cultivator of some sort. Maybe what I'll do is I'll only end up working half this field then, because we got to keep moving here. I wish. Well, I'm just folding up in the field right now. If you want me to grab another one of the uh, field cultivators back at the farm. We don't have another one, and we only got what? 91 k in our bank account. What happened, buff. Mister? I know, man. We're running low on funds, dude. Are you want cultivator or plow? Plow. But Wait, is, then, this, is this what happens when I leave you guys for 20 years? I thought you were going to be strict enough with Grant to keep his finances in check. Okay, we're I only... I knew have his finances in check. Okay, really? we're right. Come to the field. my check with no money, that makes a lot of sense for his particular situation. Okay, come to the field. We're only going to end up doing half of it. I'm only going to pull half of it. We'll just leave a little yield to be oh, left on the table. It's pointless to bring two tractors to a field that's only half done. So should I just drop the tractor back at the farm and bring something else out? No, no, you are you guys are good. You, you guys can come. It's fine. Both of you guys. Just it seems like it's a waste of fuel well no you work you work on the unplowed stuff and then work work over my way okay that was good. Basically, we're going to end up seeing what the yield difference is between unplowed ground and plowed ground because I'm only going to do half of this. If we had another fuel cultivator, we could run ahead of time, but we're it's just we don't have the equipment to keep up with those planters. Okay, we got Jerry outrunning the fuel cultivator. I'm going to head back and I got to get spraying. So we're going to finish this little piece. Buck and Nate are going to be coming up to plant the rest of this field. It'd be kind of nice to have another loader tractor because currently we got the loader tractor on the sprayer and I usually end up taking the loader off, but I got to feed cattle right now. So that means we got to hook up the loader again. I think I'll probably just end up leaving the loader on the trailer while we spray. I'm not sure if pallet forks will work or not. Yeah, they do. Okay. I wasn't sure. Ah, shoot. We got to strap it down there still. But anyways, I got to feed the cattle real quick. Make sure these guys have enough feed. And like I said, we've got a couple calves coming out of Omaha still. They're going to be delivered today. Okay. Put it in here. Get these guys fed. Should take them. There we go. Perfect. Toss them in here and get these guys fed. There you go. Okay, I'm going to drop off the pallet fork and then drop off the rear weight and get spraying with those guys. I want to follow up with spraying right behind those guys, get our pre-merge down. So that means we got to get that sprayer all loaded up. Okay, we got the sprayer loaded up and we are hitting the road. We got about a 10 mile drive north and it's a little sketchy because we got a hot load. So I got to keep her a little slow going down the paved road. Fuck, Nate, you on the CB? Yeah, what's going on? How many acres you guys got left there? Uh, the 160. Maybe you've only done 15, 16 acres. Okay, perfect. I'm coming to spray right behind you guys. I might have to pass you guys. We'll see. How's John doing on the field cultivator? He should still be going. Nate, you're over there. How's he doing? I'll see him. Not, not good, <laughs> I'll see him. Oh, God. Johnny, hopefully he's good. Just saying. I, I, really, I, don't, I don't see the tractor. I don't see the cultivator. I don't see nothing. It's not good. He might, he might be like behind a bush or something like that. I don't know where at, but probably in a bush. See that? That is one of the biggest ethanol plants around here guys poet they make a lot of ethanol out of there they got pretty good bases too so we'll probably be taking some corn there okay we'll drop her down and get spraying okay guys i gotta wait until they plant actually because i think in farm sim a pre-merge herbicide doesn't work if you do before somebody plants so we're gonna fold up the sprayer unfortunately and just park it on the edge of the field until they get done planting Okay, Buck and Nate are still rolling on planting. They got a lot more acres to knock out, but we've got a load of cattle coming. So that means, well, I probably need Nate. Nate, you on the CB there? Yep. Is he taking a yeah. nap in the tractor? I, I know these long rows do that sometimes. But uh, anyways, I've got to uh, unload some cattle. Can you come with me back to the farm? Help me unload some cattle quick. Let me finish the last little bit of this past, and then I'll come with you. Done for. I'll meet you at the entrance of the field. Okay, so Buck's almost out of seed. I think Nate's almost out of seed too. So we're going to hook up to the seed trailer and herbicide trailer and bring that over to Buck because he's about run empty. And then we'll unload some cattle. Got the gooseneck hooked up. We'll throw the tailgate up and should be good to rock and roll. We got to get there though before Buck gets uh, gets empty. So we got to hold oh, I'm Buck. Already empty. Ah, son of a gun, Buck. Okay, I'm coming, man. Power stroke is loaded down. 
Yep, we're doing just fine. And we got a train. This sucks. Okay, I'll pull up the buck over here. There we go. Buck will just back up. And we'll get him full. Yep, keep coming, Buck. Keep coming. There you go. And we'll start throwing some bags. Okay, and I've got the drone checking in on the 8110 and Buck. Just trying to keep her steady. This is a pretty new drone. Buck is... He's got... He's probably got about half the field done. He's still rolling, and me and Nate are going to get this livestock unloaded here. His AB line must be a little off, though, but he's still rolling pretty good. Okay, cattle are looking good. we got a, we got a few calves here, but we're going to try and... We've got a load of 12 calves coming out of Omaha, so those should be here any second. Keep these guys rolling and keep these guys fed. As soon as May hits, we need to start producing a lot more hay, though keep these guys fed okay there's steve the driver oh he, i gotta tell him where to go or actually i think he's gonna back up down here steve steve hey yo steve Rocky mate what's going on hey you're, you're at omaha right yeah I'm from that old big old red state okay hey back her up over here i'll guide you Right, see if we can find ourselves a reverse gear. Steve sounds a little Australian. You don't want to run over your crops there, lad. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good, Steve, man. You're good. I was trying to stay on the dead. and things going on here? He's just out of really had to turn around in this. Here we go. Let's draw that. Here we go. Keep her coming. Yep, I messed it up. Some old reason this thing just doesn't have the turn right he said he used to. Yeah, if our buddy Buck was here, he'd be making fun of you. Oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, get them kids out. Him old little get, get. Okay, we got all the cattle out. Got Steve paid. You lads have yourself a good day, all right? I'm gonna get myself back on the road, get some grub, and I'll be trying to fight myself a kangaroo. Appreciate it, Steve. Have a good one, man. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. It's nice having Buck back, having Nate here. Hopefully, we can get Buck, Nate, and Brody all in one video is what I'm hoping. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next farm video.